Now we'll look at five things to know as you start your day. There will be a drop in monkeypox vaccine clinic in Agunquit this afternoon. The clinic is open from 12 to 5 p.m. and hosted by Local Roots Healthcare. It's being held at the Dunaway Community Center at 23 School Street. Organizers say vaccines are available to those 18 and older who are members of the LGBTQ community and other men who have sex with men and those who have multiple sex partners. The Maine Forest Service is working to determine what caused a brush fire at a cemetery in Portland. This happened at the Evergreen Cemetery about 4.30 yesterday afternoon. Crews say it scorched the edge of the woods and burned through an area of about two acres. Firefighters were able to contain it, but they are still investigating. Two men are facing charges after police recovered around $200,000 worth of stolen property from a home in Belfast. Police say they found everything from snowmobiles to power tools. All of it had been reported stolen. You can find photos of all of the items on the Ellsworth Police Department Facebook page. If any of it is yours, you can follow up with the department that helped you file a report. Versant Power wants to increase its rates by 9%. That would be about $10.5 per month for the average customer. Versant says it needs this money to replace some older equipment and build some new substations. Not everybody is supporting this idea, though a representative for the main office of the public advocate says they're skeptical about how much Versant actually needs this. And Maine Governor Janet Mills says she's also opposed to it because right now is just not the right time. If it does get approved, the price hike would begin next summer. And the Beach to Beacon Road race is tomorrow. Runners from across the country will take part in the 10K or 6.2 mile course. It starts just beyond Crescent Beach State Park in Cape Elizabeth and finishes at Portland Headlight. The founder of the race, Joan Benoit Samuelson, says it started as an idea to get world class runners and people who do it for fun together to enjoy the beauty of our state. More than 7,600 runners have registered for this year's race, and it's going to be a hot one. Huh, yeah, Mike? It is going to be humid out there tomorrow morning. Temperatures uh, likely in the 70s for some overnight, especially at the coastline, and dew points remaining in that oppressive tropical range. As we get into the start of the work week, though, we'll get some relief briefly from the heat on Sunday. By Monday, we're a little bit cooler and then we're hotter on Tuesday, especially across southern parts of the state with the chance of some storms moving in later Wednesday. And that front Wednesday should be our key to getting at least some of the humidity out of here. I still have the 80s forecast for the end of next week, but you'll notice the little the little bottom piece goes from humid to comfy overnight. So. <laughs> Big improvements yeah, there. That'll, that'll be, be nice. nice. That'll be nice. <laughs> hey, Sounds okay. like perfect weather to jump in the ocean this weekend. Yes. yes. It See? Is I'm hopping in. Happening. Picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone.